So now we're moving on to <coughs> the sign law. Now up to this point, we have always been doing right triangles using Sokotoa and using Pythagorean, Pythagorean's theorem. But this uh, Sokotoa only works for right angle triangles. Well, obviously you know there's more triangles in the world than just right angle triangles. So that's why we need the sine law and the cosine law. So let's just go to the next page so you can see how it works. Now, <coughs> the first thing, we do have new notation. So no more opposite adjacent hypotenuse. The way that it's done is that you will always capitalize your angles. Okay, this stands for angle A, C, and that stands for B. Okay, these stand for the angles. But if you look at A, if you look directly, so remember how we were drawing, or we were uh, using the bow and arrow, we are using the arrow to shoot? A could only hit one side, and that's right across from it, and that we call little a. This is little b, and this is little c, okay? So the sides will always have the lower case, and the uh, upper case is always for angles. Now the sine law, when it's in this form, it looks kind of complicated, but when you see how to use it, it's pretty, pretty nice. So this is A over sine A equals B over sine B equals C over sine C. Or you could flip everything and have sine A over A, sine B over B, and sine C over C. Um, I'm not going to go through the proof of it. Let's just get using it. Okay? So here you see we have a non-right angle triangle. Now, I guess I'll go back and I should say this too, that whenever we need the sine law, that's what I call two loops. So if you can do the two loops, you use the sine law. Let me explain on this example. So here, it says find length BC. Okay? Now if we look here, BC would be side A. This would be side C, and this is side B. So here's the two loops I'm going to do. That's one loop, and that's the second loop. Now, if we only have one unknown in those two loops, then we're good to go. So this is my unknown. It's A. So I always put it on the top left. It'll be A over sine A equals C over sine C. So we don't use all of them, like there was three formulas, right? You only use uh, one ratio per side. And I'm using C over sine C because I know both of those. Now you just fill in everything. A over sine 75 equals C, which is 12.50, over sine 35. See how the sine 35 and the 12.5 and go together? And then all you do is you can you just bring this up to here. Okay, you can take the escalator. So, oops, why do I keep bringing that up? So if I show you how to put that into your calculator, you go 12.5, and it's nice to put your top in brackets, 12.50 times sine 75. And then I'm gonna shut my bracket. See how I shut my bracket for my angle? And then I'm shutting my bracket for the top, divided by sine 35. And we hit enter, and we get 21.05 centimeters. So A equals 21.05 centimeters. Okay, next one. Let's look at this one. Now this says, use the sine law, the triangle, and determine angle A, C, B. So this is the one they want. A, C, B. Now, let's just see what we have for loops. Here's one loop. Now, I can't do a loop here because there would be two unknowns. Now, if 
I did this one, then it's finding me angle B. So how am I supposed to find this? Well, if you called this Y, and see how we have a loop here with only one unknown? I could find Y, and then we know that all of these must add up to 180. So if I find Y, and I know this is 110, I can just subtract from 180 to get this, right? So how is this going to look? Well, first of all, I am finding an angle on this one. So that's a little bit different. We'll have to make sure we're ready for this. So anyway, I am looking for big B. So why don't I put that sine B over B, because this would be B here, right? And this would be A, equals sine A over A. So, let's fill in what we know. Sine B, excuse me, sine B over 6 would equal sine 110 over 9.4. Now this one gets a little tricky. Now this 6 is going to move up here. That's cool. But since I'm looking for an angle, I need to use second sine. Okay, just like in Sokotoa. So what do I put in there? Okay, well, let's look. So if I was to do this one, let's clear. I'd go second sine, first of all, to find an angle. Now I'm going to open up a bracket for 6 times sine 110. And then I'm going to, uh, so I open the bracket to start sine, or that one did. This bracket needs to go with this one, divided by 9.4. Okay, so this bracket here and this bracket belong together, because I've got to always finish off the angle, and then these two belong together, and then these two belong together. And hopefully, this gives me the right answer, which is 36.8558. So that, so B equals 36 point, bad memory here, 8558, 8558, 8 dot dot dot. Okay? So now I know this angle. So if I go 180 minus 110 minus 36.8558, I will get to the nearest degree, should be 33 degrees. Okay? So that's all the examples. Now it's time for you to practice. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 7, and 8.